Ah! Alright, I'm quite excited because I'm going to be trying out this new brew basket and porter filter that I've got online, which will hopefully make it a little bit easier to learn more about how to make espresso. I don't think this is the most professional way to do it. I just have my cheap machine and I got this separate third party handle. We're just going to see how well it works and if it's a complete failure, that's fine. I've got a different espresso machine coming in the future anyway. Just wanted to try this out. I've got the porter filter and the brew basket. I'm going to get the scales out and I'm going to measure how much coffee I put in here. Now, honestly, I don't know how many beans are actually going to fit into this basket. So we're just going to try something simple. Let's go with like 15 grams of coffee. <laughs> I've never actually put this much in. The brew basket that I had that came with this, you could only fit eight, like about 11 grams of coffee and that was like the maximum and then the whole basket would just kind of run out of space. So what I've got here are these new bottom cups which look really nice. They're double walled and then for lack of a better tool, I'm going to use my old plastic scoop to try and get 15 grams of coffee in here which is, by the way, more than I usually put even in a large filter coffee. This really feels very excessive. I'm now getting the Easy Presso X Pro S, which I bought recently, and I don't really understand what all these numbers mean. Before we get started, let's brush the old coffee off using this brush that the actual grinder came with. It's like a makeup brush. Oh, wow. Got the hard brush. That's quite nice. I've got a hard brush on this side, and I've got the soft brush on this side. This thing here will move up and down based on how I change the clicks up here. On the chart here, it says to go between 40 and 65 for an espresso maker. And since this is a medium roasted coffee, I'm gonna guess that we want it to be sort of fine. 55. In order to do that, I'm going to turn the numbers on this dial from zero to all the way to zero again, but we want to go right between the zero and the five. This is the level that I think will give us a nice espresso, but who knows, it might be absolutely awful. I'm told that this process is called dialing in and I think, that, I think that's really, really cool. Kind of sounds like some kind of science experiment or like you're tuning up a car, like you have to dial in all the variables on the car so that the F1 whole team is gonna be functioning perfectly. In go the beans. Let's grind. 15 grams. Wow, this is so much harder than the normal grind I do because it's so fine. I don't wanna change anything midway. Oh wow, this is hard. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually getting quite a workout. And now we are going to put this coffee into this basket. Now I don't actually have a dosing funnel. I just realized that. So we're gonna have to just do our best and hopefully get the coffee in here without making too much mess. All right, I'm gonna brush brush the excess beans here. And then we're going to attempt to get the rest of these beans in here. I really did not estimate how much a funnel would have helped this process, but let's just get the coffee in there. Ah! Okay, that's fine. Interestingly enough, 15 grams has gone in quite comfortably. Magic wand that came with the DeLonghi machine that only allowed you to put 11 grams in before it was just too much. Mix in some of the dust and dirt from my table. So you might think the next step is to get the tamper and squash it down, but before we do that, we're going to distribute. By the way, this is absolutely my first time doing this. Never done it before. Getting the WDT tool, stabbing it in here all the way, and then I'm going to try and spirograph around here, but it's harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't think I've ever seen coffee this fine. I'm finding it very difficult to do this without it falling out of the basket. Instead of distributing, I feel like I might be compacting the coffee together and creating clumps. I think that's not what I want. That looks like brown sugar. And now we're going to try and tamp. Have never done this before. All right, this is the temper I've got and apparently it is self-leveling and when it gets to 30 pounds of pressure, it will stop pushing, which is, I guess, ideal. And now I'm going to push and let's see if we hear a sound. I didn't hear anything. Let's try again. That was cool. That was very, very satisfying. And that was actually significantly more pressure than I was expecting would be required. But hey, if it's a coffee company and they say 30 pounds feels like this, I just have to believe them, right? Have a nice look at that tamped espresso puck. Supposedly, the fact that it is nice, compact, 
and fine coffee that is evenly distributed is one of the ways that we're going to hopefully get a nice even extraction out of this coffee, but I have no idea if it's going to work. There is one final piece to this puzzle. First of all, I'm going to turn the boiler on. Apparently I don't actually have to add this, but I thought, hey, if it's not that expensive, may as well try it. This piece of metal with large holes on this side, and I think it's got lots of small holes on the other side. Let's go ahead and drop this in here like so. Okay. All right, I'm close to the camera, but I'm going to try and put the new espresso thing in here. Get that nice, Tight seal. All right, I'm gonna start the timer, ready? Go! So that's a good look at the espresso from the top. And I think before we taste it, I'm gonna give it a little stir because I've heard that that can kind of help. This is actually, it looks like more coffee than I was expecting. Ooh, wow, that's bitter. Okay, woo. All right, so this took like 20 seconds longer than expected. Apparently coffee, these espressos should take 25 to 30 seconds to, I mean, depends on the recipe. Like the general ballpark figure is like 25 to 30 seconds. This took about 50 seconds, which is, I guess that's not too bad for a first attempt. It could have taken minutes or longer. And it took about 50 seconds to get 30 grams out, which is like basically exactly two to one ratio. Again, is that actually the right ratio or one to two ratio? It's a one to ra two ratio of coffee beans to actual liquid out. Let's taste it and see how it, how it goes. <sighs> Oh, oh wow, whoa, okay, what? That was a lot more flavor, whoa, hang on. That was a lot more flavor than I've ever had for a coffee. Maybe it's just that I don't make the right ratio and I usually use my normal white little coffee cup with this machine. I always make coffees that are more like one to four, one to five ratio, so they're not really espressos or if they are espressos, they're like lungo espressos. They're massive espressos, but doing it at a one to two ratio, that's insane. What's really strange about drinking it like this, one, I don't usually slurp my coffee, but I'm learning how to. <laughs> when you drink it this strong, or at this concentration, which is one to two, and then you also slurp it, it's really interesting how the coffee actually coats like other parts of your mouth. So you feel coffee sensations, like it tastes like fruit, that's crazy. It, I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't even know if that's a good thing. It might be a bad thing. And I feel like I did actually just have oranges in the back of my mouth, like on parts of my tongue that I didn't know I had. I don't know if it's bitterness or acidity. At the moment, because I haven't got much experience, I don't know which flavor is which. And actually, traditionally, I actually always have trouble understanding like the differences between food words people are like does it taste kind of salty to you or some sort of sour to you or you know is it sweet or is it savory and i'm like ah, what's the difference <laughs> it's really awful i'm probably like the worst possible person to get into coffee tasting but it's got a real kick not like a, a caffeinate caffeinated kick but it's got like a i don't want to call it fruit what is it it feels like some kind of, I don't want to say fuel, it's not petrol. Um, I don't think it's a taste that I love. I don't think I would want to drink this flavor all the time, but I don't know, that's just my first impression. Maybe I'll get used to it and I'll be, maybe I'll be obsessed with it and I'll always want it like this. It's glowing in the dark. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like it's glowing in the dark. Is it glowing in the dark? Also don't know if crema is supposed to be this dark, but I quite like the way that it looks. Instead of a super light, look, which usually I get on coffees that I make in this DeLonghi machine. The crema on this seems a lot darker. It's like a much dark, I mean, obviously I've been drinking it and mixing it in as well, but even from the very start, I feel like it was a very dark crema. One thing I am very happy about is that it didn't spit coffee everywhere. I was told that if you don't do this correctly with a bottomless portafilter, 
if you go, if it goes wrong, you can have channeling and coffee will be like spitting out the edges and all sorts of holes where, you know, water is coming out faster than the rest of the puck. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that I love it or hate it, but I do get the feeling that it's not supposed to taste like this. This might be a sour. Maybe this is a sour taste. Mm. I would drink it again though. I want to know what the opposite ends of the spectrum are so I know where I'm leading to. I think probably the good thing is that I didn't nail it on the first try. I think if I had nailed this coffee on the first try, I'd have been like, mm, is this supposed to be like this? 15 grams. That's insane that I just consumed 15 grams of coffee in a shot glass. Normally I would have 14 grams of coffee and I would have it over the course of like half an hour to an hour in a large mug. But I'm mostly just happy that I don't think there was a lot of spitting. I do see some spitting here, but I think that's because when I turned the machine off, I let it, it continue to run a little bit and you could see that it was dripping coffee and it was splattering off here and ricocheting off onto the table. I'm hooked. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun and I definitely, I definitely want to do that again. I want to do that again and again and I want to experiment and I want to, I want to discover all the recipes and if I can like pull and push these flavors, like the sourness and the fruitiness and the glow in the darkness, whatever, whatever that was, I'm not sure what that was, I am, oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited and I'm, I, I, I swear to you this is not just the caffeine talking except it's probably 80% the caffeine talking, but the other 20% of me is like, ah, oh, this is really exciting. This shot glass of coffee was the result of this grinder, which cost me $150, but it feels closer to $200 at the current exchange rate because in Japan, it's not like our pay grade has increased or anything. Things have just got more expensive, like 50% more expensive. It was, the beans I was using was the washed Brazil coffee that I've been using for the past couple weeks. So I think it's suitably rested. It's not like it was brand new roasted yesterday or anything. Medium roast beans. Also used this distribution tool, which was helpful, but quite a lot more difficult to use than I was expecting. I got coffee all over the table. I now realize that I should probably have like a mat where I make my coffee. This was fantastic. I absolutely loved using this tamping tool. Like, did not think it was, to be honest, I didn't know I had bought one that would make a sound when it gets to 30, press, 30 pounds of pressure. I thought that I was just going to push it down and I was going to hear, I didn't even think I was going to hear a click. I thought I was just going to push it down. It was going to be self-leveling. Did not realize that not only is it self-leveling, but it was also like self pressure regulating it like it won't push more than 30 pounds when it gets to 30 pounds it will click and it will just retract itself that's insane that's insane and then inside here that puck screen i'm sure that it did its job as well but obviously if i'm going to dial this coffee in the way they say you know you should try to dial your coffees in i think the aim the next thing i should aim to do is reduce the extraction time so that if I prepare the grinder, if I make this a slightly coarser grind, maybe because this is a medium roast, maybe I ground the beans a little bit too finely. If I make this a coarser grind, then hopefully the water will go through faster. I'll get it done. I'll get 30 grams out, 15 beans, 15 grams of beans in, 30 grams of coffee out for a one to two ratio. Hopefully I can do that in 30 seconds. So I need to shave 20 seconds off or maybe even a bit more. This is, this is so exciting. Listen. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to keep this footage forever because this is a very exciting beginning of the journey for me and hopefully all the footage actually got recorded. I'm so excited. Listen, that's all for today. I've been Nihongo Gamer. Subscribe if you're not already. Comment if you are loving coffee making and you want to share with me the way that you make coffee. Do let me know in the comment section below. Like the video if you haven't done so already. <sighs> I've had a great time with you today. I hope I'll see you real real soon.